The Journal Records Managing Editor Adam, Adam Brooks joins us with a look at the news and business this week. Adam, Oklahoma has been skipped over as a site for drone testing. I understand that is not sitting well with lawmakers. No, it's not. U.S. Rep. Tom Cole sent a letter to the head of the FAA asking for a briefing on how the decision was made. That letter was also signed by the rest of the congressional delegation. It's a big deal because there's expected to be billions of dollars in economic development at those sites. The Oklahoma Transportation Department's plan to sell a track between Oklahoma City and Tulsa is drawing fire. Tell us about that. There's a section of track that runs from Dell City to, uh, um, sorry, to the Tulsa area that's called the Sooner Sub. They put out bids on it and some people are worried that if a commercial interest that wants to do cargo on that line, for instance, takes control of it, it could hamper efforts to develop a regional transportation network. Some people hope that uh, in someday in the future we could have rail service between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. American Airlines and U.S. Airways merged last month from the nation's largest airline. How's that going so far? Customers are starting to see a difference. They can now do something called code sharing between the airlines, which means that if you're booking a trip, you can go to one phone number or one website and book flights on either airlines. It, the merger is pr pr preparing that uh, benefit for customers. And the aerospace company Nordam is closing its Wichita plant. What will that mean for Oklahoma? It could mean good news for Tulsa. Uh, they're closing the plant in Wichita. The company makes parts for airline or sorry, airplanes and they've offered jobs to the 75 affected employees in the Tulsa area. The iconic Stage Center in Oklahoma City is facing demolition despite supporters' efforts to save it. What's the latest? Uh, on Thursday, the Downtown Design Review Committee voted 3-2 to allow the demolition to go ahead. There's a 10-day appeals process, but the architects group that had been fighting it says they don't plan to file an appeal. A uh, developer wants to put a 14 to 16 story tower on that site to be the new headquarters for OGE Corp. They expect to take about a year to put the plans together and then construction could start in 2015. Oklahoma City is promoting rain barrel usage. What's that all about? The city wants to limit the amount of water that goes into sewers when there's storms. Uh, it also keeps them, the pollutants out of the water. Uh, residents can put rain barrels in their front yards now. That's a new change and hopefully they'll get some free water that they can use for their lawns and save a little bit of money. And what are you working on for next week? On Tuesday we have a special issue that looks at franchising. We'll have some tips for entrepreneurs on how to secure financing as well as look at some case studies of some already existing businesses and how they're doing. Adam Brooks from the Journal Record, thank you so much. Thank you.